Yo, what's going on guys? We're gonna be playing some Darius in the top end with his highest win rate build sitting at a 65% win rate with over a thousand games played this patch. That is go stride breaker first item rush because it gives you every stat you need. 80, health, attack, speed. It gives you AOE clear to shove waves quickly without having to waste mana. It also speeds you up when you deal physical damage, so including your bleed, just like a Trinity Force would do. And on top of that, it slows them and speeds you up on the active and that part does damage as well. You can activate this while using your Q to keep them inside the tipper or to find a good hook. For the rest of this build, after you have Shride Break, you'll have Tier 2 Boots, into your Sterex, into Deadmans, up against Riven. We're going to start with W. She went for Ignite. Auto W. I'll just ghost her down. This is what we got to do. Auto W. I'm going to flash that. Boop. Got it. We had to hoard the bush for a vision. We'll go ahead and push from here. Darius has the strong, well, arguably the strongest level one all in, in the game. We just made sure we used our potion. Even though she had ignite, she still lost it. We did have to flash her third Q though. I decided to all in her when she was being a turd and was just like spamming her Q at the start. So once that was on cooldown, I was going to run it. And keep in mind, what made that fight so close is the fact that I was tanking her minions the whole time. So I was fighting closer to her than she was to mine. So the majority of the time I was taking all three for range creeps. Three range minions is the same as a D-Blade 80 carry auto attack level one, right? So we were tanking a lot there. First item back. I wouldn't mind having boots. Wouldn't mind having boots at all. So yeah, we'll grab boots. We'll grab this and this. Could have gotten a control word, but I'm okay with refill boots. It helps us get from, away from ganks, helps us stay on top of the full stack pass and land Q-tippers, hit hooks. Darius W level one's his best all-in ability. It's a good auto reset, plus slows them. Plus it, his Q, you have to charge it for so long, and if you don't land Q-tipper, doesn't apply bleed stack. Not only does each bleed stack do more damage, but at full bleed stacks, five times, we get a bunch of extra AD. That AD is where the true solo value comes from. She's level three, so I'm just gonna sit back, let the wave come to me for a moment. I'm not that close to her minions here, so. All right, yeah, she's just gonna play it really slow with her abilities. I don't think she has flash or ignite though. She's looking to, well, she's not even, okay, she is warding. I was gonna say, she's, she is, she's rotating to Zen. Zen has to run. I have my wave somewhat in a freeze in a good spot with item advantage. We've got to give up that scuttle. Just go for opposite side. Get with the hook. Auto W. She unfortunately was able to uh, push that in a bit. A max Q first. We go auto W Q. Not bad. She doesn't have a whole lot spent. I'm still close to my turret. Got it. Q tipper heals nasty. It heals us more the low on health we are too. W last hit. Auto E. Auto W Q. She's dead. So the way we timed that, I knew the cannon was in turret range. It was taking shots, but the range creeps were slightly behind cannon. So I knew the moment cannon was dead, if I hooked her, she'd be taking a turret shot. Because your hook pulls you all the way into them and then kind of pushes you off of them to where they're slightly in front of you. So we got one turret shot there. Nice, easy setup. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Auto W reset. Auto W and the Q is buttery smooth because our W is an auto reset and then the Q ends the W animation. If you want to guarantee to land your Q no matter how good they are or even if they're cheating, we would want to just hook into a raw Q. No matter what, if the hook lands, the Q tipper will hit if you just hook into Q. If they don't have dashes, flashes, nothing they can truly outplay you with, Generally speaking, you're just going to auto W into Q, hold on to hook as long as possible. But if you have to lead in with hook, because you can't reach him otherwise, you'll hook, auto W, and you'll save Q for last. But uh, with someone like Riven, since she can dodge Q tipper with her dashes, then kind of forces me to be particular about when I do Q. Because if we don't hit tipper, Q's kind of kind of crap. I'm about to hit 6, but she's probably close to 6 too. Got it. I knew she was going to go in for a cannon. She would have had to give up, up otherwise there. I'm six. Auto W. Auto Q. She's just dead. 
We get her with a WR. Down she goes. I don't even have to finish dumping this wave. In fact, I'm not going to finish dumping it. I'm just going to leave him with the minion advantage and I'm going to back on out of here. I thinned it out quite a bit since it's somewhat neutral. I could even grab tier 2's come back to lane. Swifties are nasty strong on Darius since mobility is a very important part of full stacking passive Q-tippers and landing E's. I, I still, still do ban Malphite regardless of what top laner I play as. Malphite is very frustrating to play against. He cannot interact with you, be behind, and still outscale you for team fights. So, I personally recommend Malphite ban every game. And you're gonna say, "Oh, but you have percent base armor penetration on E." I don't care. It's not worth it. I'm not playing against Malphite. It's too strong. I have Ghost and Flash. I'm just trying to thin this out, not let it crash too hard. We go for our. Uh, Mm, cool, I missed. That was a bit of a yikes. Now that that's on a cooldown. Auto W. I'm just position here. Force out her dash. Auto W. Oh, cool. Viego's here. Auto W. I don't know how low he is, really. I'm just going to wait. Her dash is on cooldown. I can Q flash her here, I think. Yikes. I missed cannon for that. Got Viego flash, though. Auto W. This Viego's heck a sussy. Auto W E Q. I have to ghost away from that. She burnt her flash. I might still be able to outplay it here. Oh, she warded it. <laughs> I think she still has her R, yeah. She's looking for it. She kind of needs that, though, for the execute. She's just trying to get me to use my Q, and then she's going to go in. So I'll just play it slow. I can pull her out of that third Q. Hook, auto WQ, hit her with R. I don't think she's going to die from that, but she should be low enough to where she has to think twice about staying. Jeez, man, I'm wasting all my mana. Got it, just barely. That was an interesting limit test. She almost had me. If that last auto didn't quite finish her, I was dead, but I figure I had it. Especially with my Menina advantage, them chipping in. She's trying to come back. She's cutting it down to the wire. Next up is this. I'm not a huge fan of rushing down Tiamat because you can't freeze wave if you want to. And as an item, it's also overpriced because they're trying to dictate which junglers are and aren't viable. For example, if Tiamat was actually affordable, imagine that. If it was a thousand gold or less, Warwick would instantly become a top 10, top 15 jungler. But the fact that Tiamat is so inconsistent to get on first item back for Warwick makes it ugh, it's hard for him. It's a lot of minions here. This is way, way, way too many minions. Got it with the Q, E, Auto, W. Oh, outplayed my man. I'm on Swifty. She's dead. Oh, wow. That champion is bu 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 busted though. Holy crap. She almost won that down as much gold as she is. That's insane. Holy crap. She almost won that. I guess she did have R to be fair and I didn't, but still. Just wasted my hook. I'm going to let my melees go through. I'll reset it here. Not a great spot to leave the way. Their mid jungle were kind of roaming towards me though, so I feel like I have to back. D Blade's certainly good on Darius. D Shield's way more survivability and better in the majority of matchup spreads. D Blade's kind of like a cocky, arrogant item of, oh, I was going to win anyway, so I went D Blade. 
Meanwhile, D-Shield, if you're against Vayne, Teemo, GP, anyone who's ranged, D-Shield can get you through it pretty comfortably. And, uh, yeah, it's just a good item. I don't normally go Bone Plating on Darius. I normally prefer Nimbus or Cosmic. But against Riven, Bone Plating is kind of nice when she's trying to combo us early. Trying to slow these guys down, man. They are just... They are really trying to off themselves underneath my turret. I have TM at, so it's probably kind of worthless to try to freeze. <laughs> Auto W. Got it. Auto TM at. Boop. Boop. Yeah, I can't really do much against her now. I could just write raw hook in the Q there. Just like that. It's a very mana expensive way to trade. Depending on how your opponent's playing, sometimes that's all you can really do. Auto W. She has refill now, that's funny. about time for me to start roaming. I want to finish getting that plate, though. I'm so close to getting it. Ooh. I mean, I might be able to pop off here. Depends on if Lux hits Snare. Get him with an auto WQ. Auto R. Auto Hook. Auto W R. It's a double. Able to stay away from that Lux snare. Auto Nikyu. I don't think Riven's gonna even, even get a plate off that, so that's pretty good for me. Two kills, Raptor Camp. And a Krug Camp. Darius does a bunch of bonus damage against monsters on passive bleed 300%. We can rip through these fairly efficiently. Hooker off, mate. I'm going to flash that. I don't feel like dying. Oh, well played to her, man. She kept up with me with tier 1 boots. I like that. Well played to her. I got stride breaker now. Go for Sterix, chilling and grilling. Got her flash and ignite, which is good. I didn't have ghost to escape. I didn't have stride breaker slow speed up to escape. Wow, she could keep up with um, tier 1 boots. It's wild. Let's buy a big chunk of Sterix here. It's not going to get turret or anything. Very pesky, though. How much gold did she get? She got a thousand gold. So she has over... Technically, like, looking at her, she has all, nearly four kills. She's not one in five. She's four in five. Just about. Wild. Thousand gold. Incredible. I should have just reset after that double. I got a little greedy. She she assumed I was on Crux for whatever reason. I wonder if I was on a ward. I'm going to go take Carol. She can suck a fat nut. Riven. Such a broken character, man. Seriously. The amount of damage she can do from behind is absolutely mind-boggling. When other melee champions from behind can't really do anything at all. Auto W. Plated would have also been good here instead of Swifties. It's kind of the amount of gold I had. Auto Q. I need help over here. They're gonna They're gonna come tickle my pickle. I'm gonna hold on to my W's. They're costing just as much mana as Q and they don't heal me. Caitlyn have since she started it. They get a bounty for breaking this turret. Wow. She's a full item too. She has Eclipse. Riven's roaming out. Caitlyn's definitely dead. Auto W. And I just have to try to break turret now.
I mean, she has a clip, so trading with her is not particularly easy. Oh, man. She even went coal. That's such a gross item. She has double buffs now, too. I don't even know if I win this solo. Doubles is really, 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 really strong. Guess she figured it would turn into a big farm fest. So she thought she would just chill on doubles. Diego's clearly here. He's in the top side area. We need some jungle pressure topside at some point this game, though. It's been non-existent. It's free. I can set it up. I have Harold. She's out of dashes. She doesn't have flash either. Hook her off. Down she goes. With her ignite, she was definitely going to win solo on us, but I wasn't going to trade till Zin was close. It's easy to set up, though, against Riven players. They're very, very predictable. Mmm, that's bad. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I wanted the turret. That was absolutely not worth, though. I think it was full health. Yeah, I needed to leave there as soon as possible. Now that I have turrets, laning phase is over. We're not going to stay on the split. They have too much mobility. It's time to team fight. Use our R resets. There's a big wave here. I'm going to grab it, of course. Looks like Vigo is being greedy. He's kind of staying to push. Yeah, what a rat. He's actually staying. He doesn't act. There's no way he actually believes he's going to get that turret. He's being very greedy. Zinn could stop him for sure. Even though Zinn's down gold, Zinn's going to be full stack conk before Viego can turn. Oh, she just needed a W. It's a big fight happening here. I can't really keep up with them, though. Nice. Okay, we'll take it. Auto W. We got a blue buff and drag we can take. They're going to pop out a portal, so we can kind of just all lur lurch around over here. Nice. We overstayed. Raven gets a kill. We need to take this now and leave this. This is really dumb. Trying to force down a turret when a Lux is standing there is not very good. Diego's about to walk into us. Auto W stride break. Hey, buddy. Auto E. Auto Q. Got him with my R. I'm getting shredded, though. I'm still bloodlusted. Or was. This is bad. We just need to get drag. This is bad. Viego's dead. I'm kind of low though, so. Wait, why are we chasing kills right now? Huh. Hook, auto W stride break. Auto, auto W. All right, that, that ended up working, but it shouldn't have. Kaisa greeted. She greeted really hard to try to finish Zen. Also known as Jebaited. He's right in this area. I'll cut. Well, I guess Nautilus can cut him off going that way. Oh, cool. I'm getting Giga Creep blocked. That might as well have been a snare. Nice. Cool, dude. Epic. Epic moves from Krugs with their secret snare ability. Our R is about to be up. We do have Ghost. We got Stride Break. Yas one item. Got with Q Stride Break. Hook her. Auto W. Q. We ghost it. We take their topside camps here. Riven's in a weird spot. And he's just going to let her walk through. 
Nice, nice, nice. Mm, yeah, we just keep taking his camps. We keep Diego starved. Diego's about to walk into us again. He's, he's on here or he's on Krugs? Okay, no, he's topside. I don't know why his thing was over here. Alright, we take these. Keep taking his stuff. I'm just going to push this real quick. We're already on kind of the wrong side of the map, so I want to get something out of it. You know, we can actually stay. Because the enemies are overstaying themselves. Annie has Yasuo in a weird spot. She giga wrecked him there. He can't win wall tabers or Annie W. They chased and got some kills, but we're getting a turret and a kill, so that's a lot better. We'll take it. I can almost get dead, man, so I don't really want to back right now. Mm, I don't think Baron's it. I think this is really risky. Viego's also in the area. This feels really, really risky. Okay, Viego, they're not coming. We can actually take this. They should have checked. He doesn't have a ward, though, so he might not want to come all the way down here. As long as Zin keeps tanking. He's healing so much. It's wild. He's tanking Baron in full health. Nice. Okay. I can get my dead mans. After dead mans, we can go for pretty much anything. I wouldn't mind having a thorn mail, though. They're so physical damage heavy. They're only true magic damage characters, Lux, and she's one of their worst players, which is great. You never want your single damage type to be your worst player, because then it's all for nothing. We can push down their turret now. Baron minions, Lux can't clear it. Caitlyn's really, really fed. She's three full items. Nice. The Caitlyn trap. Riven's doing some stuff. I can't get in there. That's probably GG's. Pulled her, auto Q, stride break. Hooked her right out of her thing. I'm gonna run her down. She needs to suffer. Oh, she flashed! What a turn! Boom! Got it. We'll take it. We shall take it. You stride break. Hit the base! Hit the base! Nice. Let's look at the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were number two in the game behind Caitlyn. And then Viego at three, and then everyone else is pretty much tied up. For damage taken, we were number th three in the game. And then self-mitigated, we were number two in the game. So overall, decent value. Rune's high value. All in all, Darius, he's in a really good spot right now. Some matchups are obnoxious, like playing against an Ignite Riven. Ultimately, though, if you are playing against someone who runs Ignite, your jungler really should try to path into you. Because if someone takes Ignite, they're playing for kills in lane. They're going to be aggressive. It's easy to bait them into an all-in. And it's free. Meanwhile, if I have Ghost Flash, not only can I still take ganks, I can escape ganks and still have decent solo potential with the Ghost, like, extended Q stuff. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this Darius top lane video, let me know what top laner you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.